One thing that I didn't expect when I received the Lumix G9 II is that the USB-C port on the camera is a USB 3.2 port that allows high-speed data read-write and you can use it to save your video as well as photos to an external USB SSD drive. This feature is available on the Lumix GH6, but I thought the photo-centric G9 II wouldn't have this feature, but of course, I'm not complaining. The ability to save out to the external USB SSD drive is a very unique feature that is only available to the Lumix G9 II and the GH6 compared to other similar cameras in the market. There are a few advantages of having this feature, the first one is, you can record video in ProRes format in 5.7K up to 30 frames per second or Cinema 4K up to 60 frames per second and the data rate would go as high as 1.9 gigabit per second. Some of the highest quality or intra-codec recording also requires the USB SSD drive as well. The data rate is just much faster than the SD card can handle. And I want to make a correction about something I said in my Lumix G9 II review. I said that if you want to record to the SSD drive, the maximum video frame rate that you can record is only 60 frames per second. So turns out I was wrong. There are some fine prints in the document that I received I missed completely. You could record video at any frame rate up to the maximum 300 frames per second to the SSD drive if you want but you need the optional DMW AC10 AC adapter and also the official dummy battery DMW DCC17 if you want to do that. Sorry about the incorrect information in my Lumix G9 to review. Another advantage is that the SSD drives, they are a lot cheaper in terms of high-speed data storage if you compare it to the fast SD cards. So if you want to record a lot of videos or even photos, that is a more cost-effective solution. And you also have the advantage that when you got home, you can just plug in the SSD drive into your computer and start editing your video or photo straight away instead of having to copy to your computer. But I personally would recommend you to always back up your video or photos anyway. In theory, it could also allow the camera to run a little bit cooler because you're now writing data externally. So it's not building up as much heat inside the camera, which could be quite useful for the G9 II because it doesn't have active cooling. Having said that, I haven't really done any experiment to prove the actual benefit. One more benefit is that if you are shooting photos in burst mode, it should allow you to clear the buffer a lot quicker, especially if you are shooting in the super high speed burst mode that you can fill up the camera's 200 photo Go. buffer within less than 3 seconds. The camera does allow you to keep shooting as soon as the buffer is not completely full, but if you want to shoot a lot of photos, how fast the camera can save the photo would limit how many photos that you can shoot once the buffer is completely filled up. So you will still really want to write out your photo to the media as quickly as possible. Now let's do an experiment to see whether using the USB SSD drive will really help or not. I did my first test using my Lexa V90 card which has the 300 megabyte per second write speed printed on the label. For it to completely write the 200 photos in raw format to the card, it will take approximately 64 seconds. So about 3 of those 25 megapixel photos per second which is not super fast. I do notice the raw files from the G9 II is quite large in size. Most of the raw files from the G9 II is between 35 to 40 megabyte per photo. When I was doing some side-by-side -side comparison with the OM system OM1, the raw file for the OM1 is usually only half the size. But anyway, I then swapped to an external SSD drive, which is the SanDisk Extreme 1TB SSD drive. Its advertised write speed is 1000 megabyte per second, so it's about 3 times faster than the advertised speed of my V90 card. And I repeat the same test. 
The speed it takes to write the 200 raw files to the SSD drive is now 46 seconds, so it is noticeably faster, about 30% faster. But since the write speed is supposed to be 300% faster, the time it saves is not directly proportional to the write speed. So why is it? Now, unless I can add some code inside the camera firmware to measure the speed it takes for each step of the processing and saving, I can't really tell why the speed increase is not 300%. But my guess is the camera spent quite a bit of time process each photo before it can write it out. The Lumix G92 does things like rolling shutter compensation using the gyro data to minimize the rolling shutter effect in the output photo and that include JPEG and RAW. So the 46 seconds, I'm guessing a large amount of that may be just spent on processing the photo instead of just writing it out. But I want to repeat, this is just my guess, so I could be completely wrong. But anyway, using the SSD drive can indeed reduce the time to save the photo out, but just don't expect you can halve the right time or even faster when you compare it to a fast SD card. So there are definitely some good benefits shooting with an external USB SSD drive, but there are also some downsides. The most obvious one is that you have to attach an USB cable to the camera and that means you don't have the weather resistance protection anymore. The camera would also be a bit more bulky because you have to mount the external USB SSD drive and I would assume the battery consumption would also be a little bit higher. These are things that Panasonic probably cannot do much but there is one thing I do really want Panasonic to improve either by a firmware update or if that's not possible, do it in the future camera. Right now, once you enabled the SSD recording, you cannot save to internal SD card anymore at the same time. So you have to choose either SSD or internal SD card. It means you lost the benefit of data redundancy by able to save your video or photos to two places when you are shooting. Yes, SSD drive in general is quite reliable. Well, maybe that's not completely true with what's happening with Sandisk recently. But even ignoring that, I think professional users would still like to be able to save two copies of their photos or videos for good reasons. So Panasonic, please make it possible for users to write to the SSD drive and also internal SD at the same time. I know allowing that would kind of remove some of the benefits that I mentioned before, but I think it could still be very useful for a lot of users.